So today, me and a couple of my friends decided to drive down to Stanton, Virginia, and explore some of the rooftops. And I already know what you're thinking. Damn, the title of this video is kind of messed up. I want to ask you something. I want you to reevaluate what you did this weekend. If you could honestly say that 75% of the time you spent was productive, well, then you have some pretty good friends that you should probably keep around. If that's the case, then I guess you could skip over this video. Unless, of course, you want to see some cool cinematic clips, then I guess you'll enjoy it. If you notice that all you really do with your friends is dick around and get high while playing 2K, then you might want to reevaluate who you're hanging around and how much they're actually pushing your life forward. And by pushing your life forward, I mean what you really want to be doing with your life, what you see, what you envision at the end of every single day. What do you want to get done? What's going to make you feel fulfilled? Now, I'm not saying to drop all your friends just like that and completely ghost and go on to a whole new rampage lifestyle with these new friends like that's not what I'm saying at all that wouldn't be morally right as I'm sure a lot of them really do mean well and you care for them and they care for you and by all means like continue to be their friend and if you have the opportunity to try to show them your interest and see if they could follow through with it and kind of help you along and you could help them and get back and so forth the purpose of this video is to help you prioritize the amount of time you're actually spending on your passion it's a proven fact that if you're always around peers that are equally driven as you, or better yet, even more driven than you, that's gonna be the momentum that pushes you forward to become an expert in that niche. So for example, I'm really interested in filmmaking, and one of my buddies that's in the video that I'm recording right now, probably shown some B-roll of him, Justin, he is a very, very talented filmmaker, and when I'm around him, it just makes me wanna push my art to the next level. I see the cinematic b-roll he's pulling up, I want to be able to compete with that. I see the smooth buttery shots he's getting, I want to make mine smoother. Like you collaborate with people that you're super interested in working with, they end up becoming like some of your really good friends that you end up seeing like on a daily basis. Having these friends that are constantly pushing you forward is really what's going to be stepping up your hustle. Willpower can only get you so far and while it is a very important skill and asset to have, you're really affected by the people that you're constantly around. I'm a firm believer that your environment really shapes the person that you are and the person that you're going to become. When you're constantly tempted to spend your leisurely time on pointless activities with unmotivated people, what's normal and acceptable for them is gonna become your normal routine. People that are just bringing you down, making it feel like it's okay to just binge your entire night watching an entire season of some show on Netflix, that's gonna be acceptable to you. And while it might be benefiting you in the short term, you're gonna be throwing on your passions and overall your dreams on the back burner. You're gonna be sacrificing all the potential that you could have been making with peers that are equally driven in something that you're passionate about yourself. And in order to like break away from that and enter a new demographic that you're highly interested in, find time to set aside for the friends that you just don't wanna get rid of, you don't wanna ghost them, they're still really good friends. Make time for them, but also prioritize your time that you see as an opportunity to make yourself successful in that field. Why not hang around with people that really love what you're doing, that are gonna push you forward and make you become the best person you could possibly be? Before I sign off, I'd like to hear from you in the comment sections below. Out of all of your friends, who inspires you the most and what about them inspires you? I always strive to provide you guys with the best content I possibly can, so your feedback means the world to me. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and if you have any suggestions for a future topic that you'd like me to cover in my next video, drop that in the comment section below as well. Lastly, subscribe to the channel if you like the content you're seeing, if you like the cinematic clips, if you like the information I'm giving out just from my personal perspective. I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button below and check out the rest of my videos on the channel. Until next time, we all have the same 24 hours. What are you doing to maximize it?